Hi guys, Jenny Stevens here from the Naperville Public Library and today I'm going to show you how to make a beaded lizard or gecko. I'm going to go ahead and tilt my computer down so you can see the supplies we're working with. You're going to start by needing either a paper clip or a key ring, three to four feet of yarn or some type of string, tape, either clear or masking, and 50 pony beads. Now for the pony beads, you're going to have quite a few choices. You need 50 beads total, but it'll break down by 30 for a color of the body, 12 for the different feet, 2 for the eye colors, and 6 for the back. Now you can see here, before we get started, that I've selected dark blue for the body, clear for the belly, orange for its hands and feet, and white for its eyes. Now don't worry about remembering the numbers of each type you'll need because I'll include them in the video description. Next, go ahead and take your yarn and fold it in half. Take the loop, the yarn, push it through your paper clip or key ring, and then pull the loose ends through that loop, pulling tight to create a knot. Next, you're going to tape your paper clip to your surface. This is really helpful for when you start threading the beads on to the paper clip, or I'm sorry, onto the ring so you don't worry about the paper clip shifting. Next, again, to make your life easier as you start threading, go ahead and wrap each of the ends of your yarn or thread in tape. This will make it easier to push each bead through. Next, we'll start with one of your body colored beads, in my case, dark blue. We're going to take the bead, push one of the yarn through, and then we're gonna take the other string and push it through the other way. This is going to be the most basic way of adhering the bead to the lizard, and it'll be the most commonly used tie-on for the lizard. Once you've pushed both threads through, go ahead and pull it tight all the way to the top of the paper clip, and you've got your first bead for your lizard. Next, we're going to take two of the body colors to continue that nose. Now, I have my example lizard here that I'm using as a key, but for your ease of use, I've attached a pattern of the gecko so you don't have to worry about following along to the video. Next, we're going to take two beads. Now, when you do two beads or more, you're going to put two on one string just like we did for the nose. Then you're going to take that other string and push through the two. On the pattern, you'll see that there are two different lines shown throughout the gecko. Those are to refer to each of the individual strands of string. So one is black and one is red on the pattern to help you distinguish between what's going on. All right. Next, we're going to add some other colors because we're working on the eyes now. So because I'm using off-white for the eye, I'm pushing off-white through, then a blue for the body, and then the other eye. So that makes three. Once again, we'll take this other string and push it through the opposite way. Now you can do all three at once, or if it's easier for you, you can thread one bead at a time. Just make sure each bead stays on both strings when doing this. Once again, you'll pull tight and you'll start to see the lizard come together. Next, we're going to two body beads or two blue in my case. Once you get the hang of this initial knot, it's all pretty simple. There's only one other type of knots that we'll use for the lizard. Once again, we'll pull those two beads all the way to the top, finishing the head of our lizard. Now this will be the first time we work on the legs. And this one is going to be a little bit different. But first, I need you to grab two body beads 
and three of your hand and feet beads. So in my case, I have two dark blue and three of the orange. Now for the hands and legs, you will only use one string at a time. You're going to put two body beads first, and then you're going to put the three hand beads. Go ahead and pull all the way up to the end of the lizard's head. Now what you will do is you will take that same string that we're working on and feed it back through the two body beads. Like so. So we're skipping the hand and feet beads entirely. They're only going through once, whereas the body beads are going to be threaded twice. Now you can go ahead and pull your string but as you'll notice, my body beads are significantly far away from its head. To fix this, just pull the two body beads close to the lizard's head and anchor both while you pull the string. Now this will happen where your three hand beads are going to align. Go ahead and shift them so they sit like so, pulling tight, and you've got your first hand. Now you'll do the exact same thing on the other side, once again starting with your two body beads, like so, followed up by three more of your hand and feet beads. Once again, pull it all the way close to its body, skip re-threading the three hand beads, and push the thread back through the two body beads. It may happen that your tape slips off your thread and that's totally fine. Go ahead and finish pulling through when that happens and you can always re-wrap. An easy tip that you can do is when you roll your tape around your yarn, do it fairly snug so that it fits through the beads. You can always fold the tape in half and try to squish the yarn down to size or take scissors and trim the end if it's too wide. All right, now that we have the head and the front legs done, we're going to continue moving on with the body, but start introducing the belly slash back beads. In this case, I'm going to need two body beads and one back bead. I'm using clear for the body or for the belly, so I will put one body bead, one belly bead, and then one body bead again. Now we're going back to the original method of threading these beads, where we pull one string through and then push the other string through. Now if you don't have different color beads to do the belly, that's totally fine. You don't have to have a belly on your lizard. You can just increase the number of body beads to 36 and do the entire back of the lizard the color of the body. The belly just adds a kind of fun new color to your beaded lizard. Once again, oops, Pull tight. Sometimes one string gets ahead of the others, which is okay. Just make sure you pull them taut so they're even once they reach your lizard. All right. We're getting a little bit deeper into its back. So we'll do one body bead, two belly beads, followed up by one more body bead. Same threading technique we've used the entire time, just a little bit more difficult now that we're increasing the number of beads. But don't worry, four across, which is what we're doing now, is the widest your gecko is going to get. Now feel free to have fun when you're picking up these color choices. I picked orange and blue because I went to U of I, but I picked green because it looks like a realistic lizard. 
All right, we're going to duplicate exactly what we just did. So one body bead, two belly beads, and one more body bead. Now it absolutely does not matter which side of your, or which strain of yarn you use to start, as long as you end up with both, it doesn't matter. I typically start with the left string because it's closer to where I'm holding my beads, but it does not matter whichever you start with. The only time which strand you use matters is with the legs and the hands. All right, to finish up the belly, we'll do one body bead, one belly bead, and one more body bead. I recommend at the beginning that you could use paper clips or key rings. Key rings you can always attach to keys, but I really like the paper clip because you can slip it off. You can slip the lizard off the paper clip and just have a freestanding lizard, or you can attach it to your backpack as a zipper pull. All right, now that we're done with the belly, we're going to do hands one more time. Once you're done, you're going to take one string at a time, and I'm going to have you do two body beads first, followed up by three hand beads, You're going to pull all five beads as close to the lizard as you can get, skip the three hand beads, and re-thread through the two body beads toward the rest of the lizard. Pulling snug. Now once again, if you run into kind of a funky problem, just pull both body beads as close to the lizard as you can get, hold both together, and pull your string. Don't forget to rearrange the hand and leg beads so they remain in the triangular shape to create the appearance of a hand. Like so. Go ahead and repeat on the other side. That's two body beads and three hand beads. But don't worry, this is the last limb this lizard, this lizard has. Now the first time you do one of these lizards, it can be a little challenging as you try to figure out the right tension to have on the string. I pull mine really tight so that it looks as close as possible, but if your first attempt is a little bit looser, don't worry, it'll get better with practice. So once again, two body, three hand, bypass the hand, slip your string through the two body beads, and pull. Once again, to tighten it up, I anchor my two body beads as close to the lizard as possible, hold on to both at the same time, and pull. Sometimes the hands end up in the triangular shape on their own, which is great, but you can always fix that. All right, we are in the home stretch now, just body beads left. Next, you'll take two body beads to begin the end of your lizard and the beginning of the tail. Same classic threading technique, one string one way, one string the other. Pull tight, and now we just have the tail left. Now, you can make the tail as long as you want. If you want a lizard with a little stubby tail, just do one or two. I have six in my tail, as that's what the pattern calls for, but it's totally up to you. Now, with these, they might try to slide from side to side, just pull tight so they get anchored to each other.
What I love about this craft is there's a million possibilities for different combinations of lizards. I got really into this when I was in middle school and probably made about 30 of them. It's a fun activity to do while you're watching TV if you want something to do with your hands or it makes a fun gift for friends and siblings. All right, just two more beads left. Last tail bead. So you're gonna thread this exactly the same as all the others. One string in one way, the other string goes opposite. Pull tight. Now to finish off your lizard, you're gonna take both strings, tie one knot all the way against the bead, and then go ahead and tie another. To finish it, you'll take scissors and trim the end. And you are all set with your very own beaded lizard. Thank you so much for joining me and have fun making this craft. Once again, the pattern and the exact counts for the beads will be in the description of the video. Have a great day.